Welcome back, folks. We are going to continue our uh, exploration from episode one. So if you joined us for that, awesome. If you did not, there's an annotation popping up right about now that will take you directly to episode one. You don't have to watch it. This is a standalone episode, but the exercise might be more beneficial if you visited and kind of done that first mindfulness exercise. But like I said, stand alone. So if you want to keep on going, let's go. The idea that we talked about, real brief summary for everybody, was cultivating, or sorry, doing things to protect our life and health. And that can be our spiritual, mental, or physical health. Whichever one's resonating with you right now or whichever one did at that time, let's go with that. Something is making you think about it first, so let's just use that. You thought about it in episode one or, or with that practice. You probably told some folks about it and some stuff in the comments section, which is awesome. Feel free to utilize that, folks. And then the step that I'm encouraging today is taking an action on it. But this is really, really simple exercise. It's gonna take you 30 seconds to a minute. How's that for a moment? So if you have a physical uh, aspect of health you want to improve on, um, I you know, we'll use an example. Let's say you want to you want to work out more. Kind of a, a basic phrase, but it's cool. Whatever phrasing is working for you, keep going with it. But your exercise today, not necessarily a physical one, but I want you to go put on the outfit that you envisioned yourself doing while you set that goal. Like, I want to work out more. Something popped into your head with, you know, maybe you're dressed up, Richard Simmons sweating at the oldies. Maybe you are putting on your martial arts uniform, your gi, because you wanted to do more physical martial arts practice. Whatever the outfit is, put it on, and that's it. Okay, just just wear it for 30 seconds. Walk out, dun, da, 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 and then go back and change into whatever you're wearing. Okay? The spiritual aspect, maybe you want to develop a uh, more ritualized or more formalized meditation practice. Whatever popped in your head, you're like, man, I want to meditate more. Get the pillow, get the stool, get the chair, whatever you're going to sit on for your meditation, and just sit and get in position and breathe or start the meditation and set a timer for 30 seconds or a minute and then go. Uh, if you have a mental thing you wanted to practice, um, maybe you want to read two books a month. Okay. Get one of the books, set your timer for a minute or day, you know what? Don't even, don't even use the timer. Just read one page. So then open the book in one page. So all I'm asking you to try is 30 seconds to a minute of whatever it is you want to do. Now, if you can do this every day for 30 seconds to a minute, awesome. Okay? Any behavior that's repeated is called a habit. And habits are the way that we're going to introduce any of these things into our life is establishing the habit. Now, if you're going through this and you're like, well, Kelly, I set a timer for 30 seconds to meditate. And you know what? I meditated for 20 minutes. Awesome. That's awesome. If you like, oh, you know, I put on my workout clothes and you know what? I just did a short workout. That's great. Okay. All I'm asking you to do is just the first step. Just put the clothes on, just sit in position, just open the book. Whatever comes after that, awesome. Okay. Moving on to the next day, try the same thing. 30 seconds to a minute. And if you can do that for a week, try that. Okay. So the basic exercise, start doing the thing, and then start doing the thing one day a week. Okay. So I know that's not just one moment, but today's moment is the simple, do the thing, cultivate that practice, that habit. And I hope this helps you on your, your mission, your goal, your uh, change in lifestyle, whatnot. If you have any questions, 
or you need some inspiration on maybe a goal. Go ahead and throw that in the comments section. Myself or some of the other members from Chapel Hill Quest Martial Arts are more than happy to give you suggestions and inspiration if needed. Thank you so much for joining us on the Mindfulness Moment. If you would like to find some more material or videos on meditation and mindfulness practices, go ahead and click the playlist right here. And if you want to keep up to date with the release of new content, new material, probably want to hit that subscribe button here. We appreciate any feedback or comments in the sections below. And of course, Ninja Every Day.